so welcome back guys today we are going to see nursing process so let's define nursing process nursing process is the systemic holistic client center organized approach of identifying the patient's problem and providing um, nursing care appropriately to the patients the, the main key term here is systematic and uh, client center centered then holistic so let me explain all this word systematic mean you do your uh, thing in an organized way like if you are doing physical examination you have to start from head to toe not from the abdomen then you go to the chest then you go to the head no it has to be systematic from head to toe client centered which means you give priority to the patient at that time and has to handle one patient at a time and then holistic holistic is um all the categories where the patient can have problem for example you can look at the physical physically or um, spiritually what could be the patient's belief social how is the society the patients coming from is or the patient's concept about the society and then lastly you look at the socio-economic status of the patient you no know, other people's status could problem could be due to poverty and the rest of the thing and if you know all this you'll be able to manage this patient well so that's why in the definition said is the systematic, holistic, and client-centered approach of and identifying the patient problem and applying specific nursing care. In this case, you handle client problem one at a time. So let's look at the step component of nursing process so this include one you need include assessment assessment after assessing we have the nursing diagnosis then we have planning we have implement impli Mentation. Then we have evaluation. So we are going to go through this step one by one. So now in assessment, let me just give it in a simple term where for you have a patient, maybe the patient has come first. What do you do? You need to assess. Isn't after assessing, what do you do? After gathering all this information. You do your judgment. This one is the judgment in the local term. I'm bringing it for you to understand well. After judging, what do you do? You plan what to do with the problem. After planning, what do you do? You implement your plan. After implementing, you see if your plan has worked. That is called evaluation. Now, if your plan did not work, what do you do? You go and reevaluate the what? The plan in order for that problem to be solved that one just to give you an overview of understanding the steps in nursing process so let's look at assessment assessment as the process of collecting or gathering data validating it documenting and communicating about the this one is collection I'm going to explain it 
validating the dating then documenting this one is putting down so collecting data we collect data like maybe asking questions like for the patient has come and said uh, you greet the patient you say good morning what's your name all those all those ones are data um, i have a deck fever so now if someone asks fever or a deck you start validating validating means for how long like asking for how long has the patient have that fever or a deck and how how is it they having is it much or just mild so that one is validating and directing you towards what to do so in assessment as two data to be collected data is classified into two in assessment we have objective and subjective so let's come to subjective data subjective data in the subjective data this is what you get from the patient or what the patients tell you for example uh, the name the name is a subjective data age next of kin uh, edict so these are data that you cannot measure in a simple term that you cannot measure as a health worker uh, so that is subjective data and then the second one we have objective data objective data this is the measurable data you'll get from the patients after doing your measurement for example, the temperature can measure BP. All this is objective data. You can the one you can only observe from the patient and you measure. So during the data assessment, to obtain the data, you need to do these two things. One observation. Two, you need interview. Interview. Three, you need examination. You need to examine the patient. So, imagine that you are in the clinic. And this is where how you start, isn't? You observe the patient while the patient is coming. After observing, welcome the patient. You sit. You make the patient to sit down comfortably. Then you ask, you start interview. Interview is asking, uh, your name, what is the problem, uh, blah, blah, blah. Those and then on phys then you come to examination. Examination, you can do the physical examination and then you do your measurement. Listen, in physical examination, all examination, we have this step. You first observe observe two after observing the patient you observe from eight to tall so what do you do you do your palpation then after palpation what do you do after palpation palpation is filling the organ with your hand after palpation you do percussion percussion finding how the sound of the organ sound like is it abnormally or it is a normal sound then after you auscultate auscultate auscultation means you use the stethoscope or the fetoscope to listen to the internal organ sound so those are the process of physical examination. After finding all these things, this data will help you to make your nursing diagnosis. That is the second step. So we have been looking at um, assessment where we said assessment is the 
process of collecting, validating, documenting of patients data and then we said we have two type of data we have objective data and subjective data so we went at i said subjective data these are data that you collect from the patient and the patient will give you it is non-measurable data and then we have the objective data we said objective data this is the data you as a well worker you, you measure from the patients and we give the example of objective data and uh, temperature BP and then the objective that subjective data we said then like the age the name the next of kin and then we said uh, to do to get the comprehensive data we need to do this thing observation interview and examination then we say observation you look at how the patient is coming how it present look and then we came to interview interview we said we ask the patient what is wrong with the patient after observing you do the interview then after interview we do our examination physical examination then we said in the process of physical examination we observe we do our palpation, then we percuss, and after percussing, we os, we auscultate using stethoscope or fetoscope. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. The next step we shall see nursing diagnosis.